Hi there, it's Saturday the 14th of June 2014 and welcome to trendfollower.co.uk. My name is Annie Rowe and in this video I'm going to talk you through two trades that I'm going to be placing on Monday and I'm going to update you on the portfolio that I've got running already. Hope you enjoy it. So this is the first position that I'm planning on opening and it's a long position, it's a buy. It's the City of London Investment Group PLC. And you can see from the graph that the price has been dropping and now it's starting to reverse. Indeed, uh, there are uh, a number of good reasons why uh, uh, I think this has reversed and is now going upwards. Um, and uh, yeah, you can see the price is rising. So uh, I'm gonna go long on this and uh, I'll see how it goes. I'll probably do it as a contract for difference and uh, see how I get on with that. And the other position that I'm going to open is a short position. So I'm going to sell Howden Joinery Group PLC. And you can see from the graph that the uh, price of Howden Joinery Group has been doing phenomenally well since 2009. And since, uh, what, March of this year, the price has been falling. And uh, you can see that it went through the average for the year back in, uh, in May of this year, rose up again, and this last week uh, made a new low, which uh, caught my interest. So uh, I think there's good reasons to believe that the price of Howden Joinery Group is going to continue to fall, not the least of which is that some of the house builders are falling as well. So people like Red Row, Persimmon and so on this week are, are, are all falling. And uh, I think that Howden Joinery Group um, will fall with them. And this is a kind of reflection on uh, how the housing market is going. Um, it's been doing phenomenally well, uh, but now I think it's uh, um, people are seeing that things are going to get difficult, uh, particularly if, not if, but when interest rates rise. So I'm going to go short Howden Joinery Group. Again, I'll probably do it as a, a CFD. And the reason for that is if you look in many of the um, spread betters, they, uh, they won't allow you to do long-term short bets on uh, um, this stock. So a CFD is really the only way that I can see that I can go short uh, Howden Joiner Group. So uh, uh, do let me know if you think uh, I'm wrong there, but um, CFD I think is the way to go. And I'll talk you through some of the open positions that I have already. Uh, my long Aussie dollar versus the US dollar, you can see it's, uh, it's gone up this week. So uh, that's, uh, that's great. City, oh, sorry, Century Link has uh, stayed about the same. So, uh, but uh, no worries about that. The City Natural Resources High Yield Trust has fallen uh, a bit this week. Hasn't uh, closed the week any lower than last week. So uh, hopefully it'll start to turn around again. I'm just gonna hang in there um, with this one. Aluminium, however, has fallen significantly. It's fallen back down through the average for the year. So uh, I'm a bit, bit uh, fed up with that. Um, but you know, you can see the, the low was back in, uh, in February. Uh, it made a higher low back in March and it made a, another higher low here back in May. So um, there's, some, there's some evidence that it's, it's going in the right direction, but um, that is a bit disappointing, I must say. Industrial metals have, have done the same and um, one could argue that uh, if it goes down through the average for the year, it's a good, good reason to, to close this trade. So uh, I may well do that. Evraz uh, came up uh, through the average for the year a couple of weeks ago and now has fallen down again. Um, Imagination Technologies uh, Group, this was my long trade um, of last week. Uh, this has dropped back a little bit, but uh, uh, nothing, nothing sinister. IPF, International Personal, Personal Finance, um, fell back this week, but again, nicely above the average for the year. So uh, hopefully that's looking good. ITV, this is a short trade, so I want this to go down and it has gone down. Um, this week it went down uh, significantly and uh, uh, you can see this is a, a falling market. It's characterized by a, a series of uh, lower highs. So uh, uh, here, 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 um, these are lower highs. We've got some lower lows coming along. So it has all the hallmarks of a, a falling price and uh, I'm glad to be short ITV and um, I'm hoping that will uh, will just run, uh, as indeed I hope Lloyd's will. Last week it uh, looked very close to uh, hitting a stop, 
Uh, but again, it's fallen back down this week. In fact, banks generally haven't done quite so well this week. So uh, fingers crossed it'll fall further. We've got the uh, TSB float coming up, which uh, may have a big impact on uh, Lloyds Banking Group's price. It could, uh, could affect uh, my trade very well or very badly. So uh, we'll see about that. <clears throat> Brazil's done well, and uh, so that's coming up nicely. So that trade's uh, in profit. Um, Peabody Energy. Now, again, I was getting very depressed about this trade a couple of weeks ago. Um, it had fallen down nastily, and um, but this last week it's 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 risen again. And again, you can see um, there's a low here back in the summer of last year, um, another higher low in March of this year, and now we have a, a high low, a higher low again last week. So, um, fingers crossed, uh, Peabody Energy Corporation will uh, uh, will turn around, rise up, and uh, uh, like a phoenix out of the ashes will uh, um, will do well. Real D fell back slightly this week, but still it's a, it's a rising uh, price. We've got uh, higher lows, higher highs. Um, that's all uh, on track. Um, SAB Miller um, Brewer did uh, did very nicely this week, so uh, this trade is nicely in profit. And uh, I'm just cranking the uh, the stop up behind it. So uh, just like a, a fisherman trying to reel in the catch. Okay, so that's your lot for this week. I hope you enjoyed that and happy trading and I'll look forward to catching up with you next week. Have a good one.